Okay, let's learn the midpoint formula. And I'm going to try to teach you this in around seven minutes or so. So it might go a little bit, uh, a little bit more than seven minutes, maybe a little bit less. But if you stick with me, um, I will definitely uh, help you learn what the midpoint formula is. And uh, if you struggle with this, it's really not that difficult. You just have to stick with me for a few minutes. If you're new to my channel, I am a math teacher. Teach middle school math, high school math, and beyond. Uh, really enjoy teaching math. So if you like my teaching style, I'm going to encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Literally have hundreds of videos in various playlists um, and different levels of math that can help you out. So with that being said, let's get into the midpoint formula. So as in mathematics, you know, uh, the name really mean something right so here we have the midpoint it's a formula to find the midpoint so what are we talking about let me kinda draw a little XY plane and if I didn't mention it this is actually the midpoint formula okay so this is the midpoint formula but I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, explain to you what this is so let's plot some points here let's say this is the point two two and let's say this is three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say this is the point five, six. Okay, so I have two points on the xy plane. Okay, now what I want to do, let's just think of a line that goes through, or a line that connects these two points. Okay, now somewhere along this line is the midpoint i.e. the middle way between these two lines right like right there more or less well this is what we call the midpoint so the midpoint here and the midpoint let me just write this here the midpoint between these two points five six all right so we got five six and two two is this coordinate right there okay so the midpoint formula basically is a formula that um, helps us determine hey what what exactly is the midpoint where's the location of the midpoint the midpoint in between these two points so this is what we're uh, doing and it's actually a very uh, easy uh, formula to apply okay so what we're looking at here in terms of the midpoint formula is simply another way of, of stating taking the average of the two points so the midpoint if you can agree with me is going to be some xy point right that's a point so it's going to have an x and a y all right so you say okay yeah, I, get, I get that so the midpoint will have an x and a y now the x value is going to be the average of the x's okay the X's that were are, that are involved here. So the this two and this five are the X's, right? These are the X's. The first number in order pair are the X's, and the Y value here of the midpoint is going to be the average of the Y's. Okay. This is what this formula means. Okay. How do we find the average? Well, we're going to add up the two points and divide by two. Okay. Very simple. So let's go ahead and actually apply that here. So the midpoint is going to be 2 plus 5, 2 plus 5 over 2. Okay, that's going to be our x coordinate. And then our y is going to be 2 plus 6 over 2. All right, so let's go ahead and figure that out. So we're going to get the point 7 over 2, comma, 8 over 2. And of course, we can simplify this further. This is 7 halves divided by 8 over 2 is what? 4, right? So if you want to, you could turn the, um, the 7 over 2 into a mixed number. But let me just go ahead and give it to you as a decimal. 7 divided by 2 is 3.5, right? It's 3.5. So here we have 3.5 comma 4. So let's see. Uh, in, you know, this was a sketch. But let's see if this kind of makes sense here in our little diagram. So this 3.5, well this is 2, right? 1, 2, here's 3, and then here if you kind of notice it's about 3.5. Okay, so that makes sense. Now let's see if it's around 4. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. Perfect. 
Okay, so this is 3.5 comma 4 is the midpoint. So pretty straightforward stuff. Um, the midpoint formula is uh, often taught with the distance formula. So I also have another video on that. Actually, I have several videos on uh, the distance formula and other topics as well. So, but let's go ahead and call this a wrap. Um, I don't know if I am early or late. I try to be. I think I'm getting. I think I'm pretty close to the seven minutes. But we'll <laughs> we'll see when I finish. But let me go ahead again and invite you to subscribe to my channel if you like my teaching style and posting all the times uh, time uh, with all kinds of different various uh, math topics. Again. Um, if you want to check out my full comprehensive math learning program, uh, go way above and beyond uh, what I do on YouTube. I'll leave the link of that in the description of this video. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely would appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. What course are you taking uh, uh, right now? Are you in middle school, pre-algebra, algebra one, maybe another course, college algebra? Uh, maybe you're studying for a particular exam. So. Let me know what's going on with you uh, in terms of math. If you have questions, more questions about the midpoint formula, you know, I'll, I'll take a look at those and maybe I can make future videos. But your feedback is the way I know how I'm doing. It also gives me ideas for future videos. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics journey. Thank you for your time and have a great day.